Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and this one's gonna be all about some of the crypto portfolio that I've been creating and going over some of the cryptos that I think are gonna be doing very well as we move forward. I'm gonna go over the Dogecoin price prediction because that is one that I know a lot of people wanna follow, and then I'll just I'll sprinkle in a little of the ones I've been buying, but right now the Dogecoin price has been very volatile, but I'm gonna show you how well Dogecoin has been doing for those early investors and where the possible places it could go moving forward so stick around i think you're gonna like what i got for you For those new to the channel, I am Stock Mo. I'm an old financial advisor slash educator. I taught high school and college level investing in finance, but more importantly, I have taught and created curriculum on cryptocurrency investing. That was a nine week course, and I implemented that into my classes. Probably one of the only teachers at the high school level to do that in the country. I, I don't know any other ones out there teaching how to invest and understand cryptocurrencies in the high school level. I don't even know if they teach enough finance in there to teach kids how to do investing and all that. It's definitely something our politicians need to step up and get into every single classroom around this country to help people moving forward and get their financial future secure. But enough of that. I've, I've talked about that in the past. Today, we want to know what is going on. So before we get into it, hit that subscribe button for me. Hit the little thumbs, uh, thumbs up so you can help the algorithm with the whole YouTube thing, but more importantly, the subscribe button, hit the little bell notifications all, and then that way every time I put a video out there, you'll be notified. I do have a link down below to Weeble. They are getting new cryptos in there. You saw Dogecoin just added. They have Ethereum and Bitcoin, and they're giving you two free stocks right now worth up to $1,850. All you gotta do is put $100 in there, and as they get the new cryptos in there, I think that's gonna be a fun run for everyone to be able to have different places to buy. I buy at all different places, and so I like like having different opportunities in case one goes down you can buy it another one and I'm, I've been seeing this now I've been hearing some of the places that you couldn't buy or sell and there was issues so I always want to make sure I have different accounts at different places and this one's a good one because they're giving you free money I do have my link down below to patreon as well come on over and you can see all my portfolios they should uh, give you an idea of what I'm buying and selling I always give notifications out when I'm doing that as well as the private discord with thousands of members so today a lot of people have been that asking me, hey, what's going on with the Dogecoin? Where do you see it after the whole Saturday Night Live thing? What is going on? We had a little bit of a pullback uh, yesterday and we are seeing some action today as well. And so there are things out there to consider, but I'm gonna go over basically looking at the month long and then maybe switching it up to six months to show you where these are going. Because the overall market has been very active and not all cryptos are built the same. In other words, some of them are going to do better than others. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is Bitcoin. And I have this on the chart just to show you over the last month. And that is up, or I'm sorry, down 9.59% while Ethereum is up 87.41. I have gone over videos of why I felt that Ethereum would overtake Bitcoin eventually in terms of market cap. This to me, during one of the biggest movements that people are loading money up, retail investors, institutional, you're seeing in the supply side of Ethereum dwindle because everybody's locking it up. And yet Bitcoin is dropping in price 9% and Ethereum is up 87. This is, like I said, you're watching it in slow motion, how they are converging on each other and you will see Ethereum, in my opinion, in the next few years, actually overtake Bitcoin in market cap. And I'm investing in both of them, but I highly expect Ethereum to outperform Bitcoin moving forward to the point that it becomes a bigger cryptocurrency out there. There's just too much goodness in Ethereum that you can do moving forward compared to Bitcoin in the long run, in my opinion. So, but a lot of people wanna know about the Dogecoin price prediction. And of course, where I see it going over the last month, you can see that Dogecoin has gone up about 528%. I thought I was doing well with 
the Ethereum being up 80 something percent. I have Dogecoin from when I mined it. For those wondering, hey, did you get in? How early did you get into the Dogecoin, Mo? I actually have some that I found from when I mined in some of the mining communities I was a part of. I actually logged into one and I found some in there and I was very happy to say the least that there, it, because when I was mining it, it was worth under a penny, not even close. And so seeing it go all the way up to 40 something cents right now puts a big smile on my face. And that's a nice little paycheck that uh, I'm gonna be able to do. But basically what I'm going to do is hold it, move it into my other crypto portfolios and have fun with that. But you will see that it had a high of 74% or 74 cents, it's now down to 44 cents. It's dropped 30 cents off of that top. And that's a good over, that's around 40, percent roughly give or take a few percentage points and i do expect to see as you're seeing the market kind of pull back crypto usually follows suit and pulls back with it but i'm going to be sticking with most of my money in ethereum but i did add some on but i do think that doge will continue to have some support but look you can see here and we got down into the 20 to 20, 30 range and that i could see us getting back down there and retesting that especially in cryptocurrencies. If this is a stock, you'd say, well, it could take a long time before we get back there. This could be a matter of a few days and you could see it drop back down there. But I do think in the long run that you will continue to see Dogecoin play an active part in the cryptocurrency spectrum of, of possible ways to invest, if you will. I, I think you have a lot of retail investors watching this. Of course, you got Elon Musk out there toting it and you got other big time people out there um, pushing for it. So we will see, but in the long run, I have my position. I'm not gonna be adding more on at this point because I'm still looking up my old wallets to see if I can find some more out there from my mining days back in 2013 and 14. But I, I do think you, you will see Dogecoin uh, move rapidly, probably down and then I think you're gonna see like a V recovery in the price. So yes, I do actually expect this to drop some more and then move back up after that. But that's, we'll have to wait and see because you're already seeing it drop, uh, like I said, 30 cents off of the top. And I do think a, lot, a couple of these have been getting a lot of attention from it. And when you see that, it's usually when the whales step in and start selling and you see big time push down in the crypto industry. If you think the stocks are crazy, when you see the hedge funds and everything else selling, pushing things down, cryptocurrency is even worse. It gets so quick and fast of losing 10, 20, 30, even 40% in a matter of a few days. So I do expect us to drop a little bit more into the 30s. I don't know if we'll hit down into the 20s, but we may. And if it does get down into the 20s, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be actually adding on. I'm actually gonna be throwing some money in there and seeing where we go from there. Not a lot, but a little bit more because I do think in the long run, we'll see it pop back up to the 40, 50, 60s. And and eventually, in the long run, I expect to see this hit over a dollar a coin. And then I think eventually you might, uh, depending on how it goes, see some stabilization and maybe it can rest up there in the 90 to 90 cents to a dollar range, but we'll see. All right, just a few quick ones for some people because I know some people say, hey, you talk a lot about Ethereum, you talk a lot about Bitcoin. What are some other ones that you own? Of course, Dogecoin, I was back there mining back in the beginning days, the beginning minutes. And that was awesome because they were paying out a ton of Dogecoin. For those that haven't heard this story, I was mining, we were getting my miners. I had a couple set up here in the studio before I was a YouTuber. And I gotta tell you, it was mining over a hundred thousand Dogecoin a day. I was getting off of my miners and the miners weren't that expensive. And I think I ended up spending around two thousand dollars to build one and I did build it myself and it was a lot of graphics graphics cards and things like that and it would mine and I was pulling in like I said over a hundred thousand uh, dogecoin with my two miners working together a day and then it got down to it was between 50 and 75 thousand consistently for a long time and boy looking back at that now I would have been a multi-millionaire if I would have kept all those dogecoin but instead I did for most of them, I traded them in on Bitcoin. And then as people know the story of that, I was robbed of some of my Bitcoins from a uh, community where the person had the exchange and everything else, just closed it down one day, took it all, and that was it. There was so many, I mean, thousands of people 
uh, lost everything. So I was a part of that and it was a learning experience. You gotta be very careful with your crypto. You wanna make sure it's, it's safe and you don't get robbed, that's for sure. So at this point, I do have Cosmos. I added that on recently, yesterday, I added on Cosmos. And from there, I added on Compound. And I'll get into a more complete video on these as we move forward. But today, I just wanted to share some of the ones because people were just asking me, what other ones do you like? I Not only do I like them, I own them. And Chainlink is one I really like as well. I'm showing you the one month updates, 18% up, 83% up for Compound, Chainlink up for, uh, 34% and Uniswap up 33%. I also like Monero, I'm looking into adding some Monero in there as well. And there's other things too that I like in the crypto space. But when it comes to the Dogecoin price prediction, because I know a lot of people are watching this, but I wanted to give you an idea of some other cryptos out there to consider, especially if you're up a ton, maybe diversify a little bit. You don't have to. I'm putting almost all my money into Ethereum, so I get it. And uh, like I said, one of my students out there put five, uh, 5K into Dogecoin back in December. It's not, it was worth over $100,000, and he did very well. I don't know what he did with it. I haven't had a chance to talk to him. But uh, since then, I will give an update on that story as soon as I get a chance to talk to that young man. I'm very happy for him. But these are some of the ones I like moving forward. So the Dogecoin price prediction, I hope to see it in the next 12 to 24 months get up to a dollar a piece. But in the short term, if we see a pullback in crypto, I would expect it to get down to that support level of in the 20s. And then I would be looking at adding on personally. And anything below that would definitely be an opportunity in my mind. But for the short term, we got to watch all these because you're seeing even a Ethereum pulling back from their highs down almost 10%. And so that leads that you could see the same kind of reaction in some of these other cryptos. So hopefully we have a better week moving forward, a better few months. I do think we're gonna get through all these corrections and we will see better days eventually. But right now, a lot of digestion going on with the inflation rates, where's money moving? A lot of people think it's moving into the crypto, which the crypto has been getting a ton of cash put into it. So I'm watching all of these things. And we need to understand that money is fluid and we got to take advantage of these opportunities where we're seeing them. And when I see some of the stocks like NEO dropping down as higher, as far as they are, I'm going to be buying into it. And the lower it goes, the more I'm going to buy. Because in the long run, I do think it's going to be a global powerhouse. And that goes with a lot of different stocks like DraftKings. Somebody asked me to do an update on DraftKings. Love DraftKings. I'm going to continue to buy into that as that continues to drop. It's down to the levels that I don't even feel bad buying more because I know in the long run, it is gonna go way past these prices. We gotta get through these downturns and get back to the green pastures, if you will, of profit. So there's my update. Hopefully you all had a good day today. I hope you did. And uh, get those two free stocks from Weeble down below. You can buy yourself some Dogecoin right now after you get those two free stocks for after putting 100 bucks in there. And uh, you can buy anything you want. And of course, come over and join me at the Patreon. I'd greatly appreciate your support. And of course, the private Discord with thousands of members. We have a good discussion every day. That's all I got for you. Let's get out there and make some money.